In this section, we're going to be going over Facebook's Creative Hub, another great tool for your ads and the fundamentals of creative testing inspired from our own ad campaigns. So what's a Creative Hub? Well, it's Facebook's way of giving you a blank canvas on which you can build and test out your ads, which will appear before you actually create them in Ads Manager. Of course, you can build and test your ads in Ads Manager too when you're actually creating your ads, but if you're new to it, and you just want to play around by seeing different combinations of copy, image and video, then this is perfect. Considering that more than 80% of users access Facebook on a mobile device, it's worth you checking the mockups before pressing the live button. As Facebook says, given that mobile is a fairly new medium with constantly evolving features, it's important to get to grips with those mediums before you actually commit to spending your money on ads. Creative Hub essentially lets you create ad mockups at any stage of the creation or design process. In Facebook's own words, it's a new destination where marketers and advertisers can be inspired by great creative, design their own, and share it with others. They design Creative Hub to be a faster, easier way to produce ideas that capture attention and delight people where they're spending their time, on mobile. Now we've been over the importance of mobile. Within the Manage Mockup section, you'll be able to build your ad with copy and creative in order to see how it will look when it's built, and it also lets you check how it would appear in each of the different placements on the Facebook platform. This is pretty cool because some placements have specific requirements on image size, video length, and so on. You're effectively cutting down on wasted time. You can even send ads to your mobile device so that you can check how they'll appear directly on your phone. You can create every different kind of ad here. What's more, given that 90% of Facebook's traffic is on mobile, anything that can give you an edge in this space is definitely worth exploring. You can use the Creative Hub to experiment with your own copy and images, or choose from a database that Facebook provides. You can see if any of their images work for you, but remember, it's always better to have your own high quality creative. The tool also has a rudimentary ad check to see if your ad adheres to Facebook's guidelines, specifically with reference to the image text rule. If you do make an ad that you're happy with, you can then export it to your ads manager for purchase, or you can send the link directly to any clients or management you might have for their approval. This means that you can practice your heart's content without worrying about whether or not you're making a mess in your actual ads manager. Lastly, within Creative Hub, you can also click on the Get Inspired tab and see what the biggest brands are doing with their Facebook advertising. Once again, you shouldn't copy them exactly, but it's a great way to have a look at the kind of interesting things that are possible with Facebook advertising. Facebook have compiled a bank of the best and brightest ads that they've hosted on their platform for you to look through and get some, you guessed it, inspiration from. You can even hit the Create Mockup button next to each sample ad in order to make your own advert using the same format. This is a great way to see an example of how each of the different types of ad will appear. Go to Creative Hub and get involved. It's often easier to understand what each ad format does just by playing around with the ads, rather than by reading the descriptions within Ads Manager. Now, let's see how you can test all of the variables we've just mentioned in a smart, effective, and importantly, fully scalable way. What I'm about to teach you is a structure and a reliable process that can be applied whether you have five ad sets or 50. This process can be applied time and time again, no matter your business. For example, let's say you have 10 ad sets made up of 10 ads each. Now that's a fair amount of testing to do. To get around this, you need to set a clear naming convention. Now you'd be surprised how many clients have come to us from other agencies that neglected this small but crucial step. Within your first five ad sets, let's say that you name them V1.1 to V1.10. In this instance, the V stands for the version of the ad that you're testing, and the first digit refers to the ad creative, whilst the second digit refers to the ad copy. So, for example, if you need to know which ad copy is more successful with your audience, you can compare and contrast results from your ads listed as V1.1 versus V1.2. When you run these tests, you can see which of the ad copy performs best with the chosen images, and by using the naming convention, you'll be able to see exactly which one to use in the future. Now we should name the second five ad sets from V2.1 to 10, 
except this time the two will refer to the copy and the second number will refer to the image. Simply repeat the process we just laid out and you'll find the best combination in no time at all. You can then create optimised combinations to find the best ad sets. This method makes it easy to view your results and to see which ad sets have performed best according to your KPIs and, in turn, makes it easier to make changes that you might need for optimization purposes in the long run. Facebook has recently launched creative split testing in order to be able to test the variables in an ad. For example, you can test ads with one image versus ads with different images. You can also test an ad with video versus an ad with a single image, or you can even test headline A versus headline B, or different CTA buttons. You should see the option for creative testing at the ad set level. Currently, Facebook only allows you to create between two and five different versions of your ad, so there are some restrictions. Make sure you test one variable at a time and keep everything else identical, otherwise you won't be able to attribute your results to the creative element that works. Whether you select manual or automatic creative optimization, always remember that the structures and their implementation are vital to any campaign success. What's more, these principles can be applied to any platform, whether that's Google, Facebook, YouTube, email or SEO. You'll be able to run any advert on any platform if you stick to these fundamental principles.